we are asking support from our Shaykh uh, to say something and to listen to something that is the way of this tariqat, which is sohbat, that is going to give us boost and ammunition to fight against the shaitan. The holy association, sohbat. You're supposed to take what is in there to fight against your ego and against the shaitan. Not by just some dua or some secret salawat or this or that, but understanding and knowing with knowledge. Knowing who? Knowing what? Knowing your own shaitan and your own ego. Because majority, they don't know their ego. The prophets, they came to wake us up from our ego because the ego is the biggest idol. Always to wake up. That our Sheikh is saying, decades, wake up, wake up. Believers must wake up. Not to make yourself to fall into a sleep, into gaflat, into a drunken station. Because the believer looks with the nur of Allah. He cannot be fooled. And he cannot fool others. How are you going to sit in zikr now? And you're going to be fooled by your own ego. So we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go before we're making a connection properly so that your hearts now start working because as zikr, your hearts have to open, your hearts have to start making the connection. What are you connecting with in your zikr? So many they're saying you connect to Allah. Allah is our goal. Allah is our goal. Before you reach to that goal, before you reach to that destination, which is the beginning of endless destinations, so many steps that you have to take. And being in tariqat is making you to wake up to those steps that you have to take. Not to say, that is my goal and I already reached it. Allah is nothing that you can imagine. Some people, very hard, very difficult for them now to pray or to make a zikr without imagining something. Some they're saying, they train, imagine the uh, Elif Lam Lam Ha, Allah. That is not Allah too. Some they're trying to imagine something. But Allah is saying, I'm above everything. Tariqat is making us to understand this. Now, that is the person of Allah, the being of Allah, the Zat of Allah. Stay away from all of that. Are you understanding the sifat of Allah? Are you understanding the attributes of Allah? And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is concentrating on, the whole of mankind, to concentrate on that, if there's one sifat, one characteristic, one attribute, one name of Allah, which one is that? Which one is that? What Abdullah? Abdullah is the sifat of the Abdul. That is not the sifat of Allah. Oh, you're making some progress, huh? So all this washing up is making you to wake up, to understand a little bit. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. One is saying this, everything else, it is not. Everything else is not. Allah is. But it is not saying what Allah is. It's saying what Allah is not. But the Prophet والسلام, is saying what the Prophet is. He's not saying what the Prophet is not. 
He's saying what the Prophet is. La ilaha illallah. There is no ilah except for Allah. He's saying first what Allah is not. What Allah is not, that is Allah. Your human mind cannot imagine this. You cannot imagine this. You cannot think. This is not for your mind to think. But in order to witness this, Allah has given this shahadat to all the prophets, beginning with Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. All the prophets, their shahadat is our shahadat. Muhammad Rasulullah. Because every prophet has to have that. Uh, Signature, say, from the Holy Prophet ﷺ. But he's saying what the Prophet is. Prophet is Rasulullah ﷺ. So, you want to reach to Allah, go to his Rasul. That way, step by step, you'll be able to reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the way that he has said, this is my way, this is the only way. Not your way, not your way, not the way of your ego, not the way of your culture, not the way of your history, not the way of your politics, not the way of your ego, not the way of your forefathers that they have deviated, not the way of your forefathers that they are holding on, but Allah is not happy with them. The way that Allah has put favor, and the most favored one is Rahmat Alil Alameen, the most merciful characteristic given to that, the mercy of the universes, the Holy Prophet One of the characteristics of mercy also is modesty. Modesty. One of the characteristics of mercy it is modesty, it is not showing like that. It is very subtle. It is going very softly. And the month of the Holy Prophet والسلام, if the Ummah, if Murids are not having modesty to the month, that in this month, although this is the month of the Prophet والسلام, the most holy day, it is not about the Prophet, it is about his Ummat. It is Berat. It's not Berat of the Prophet. There is a big secret to that. Understand what is occupying the Prophet's heart, alayhi salatu wasalam. Yes, Allah. Of course it is Allah. After that, what? Ummati, Ummati. And understand the month of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is it containing? The Holy Prophet From beginning, which is Ragaib, to the end, which is Miraj, it is about the Prophet And the month of the Ummat, what is contained there? What is contained there? What is Layla to Qadr? Al-Qadr, the one who is the most powerful, Allah. You read, must know step by step where we're reaching, where we were from, where we are now, where we're going to. Shaitans are going to start attacking you, very heavy in the month of Rajab, very heavy in the month of Shaban. In the holy months, that's where all the shaitans are going to try to trick you and to fool you. Because they don't want you to get the blessings of that month. This is the first zikr of Shaban. Sleeping, left and right, sleeping, I'm looking. There's no heart, there's no passion there. Why is that? Because shaitan is blowing. Murids must know, oh, this is coming from shaitan. 
I must do something. I must fight. This is the way of the jihad, jihad al-akbar, the jihad, the struggle that is against your nafs. You're not struggling, you're giving up. Why you are here? At time, don't sit in front of me. Go very far away. You should know, even if I sit far away, where can I be that is going to be hidden from my Lord? He wants to see us fight a little bit. So how are we going to take to the holiness of this month? Show some respect, show some modesty to this month, show some softness to this month. Wake up in this month maybe a little bit more because so many people, especially in the past, they don't look to this month of Shaban so much. Majority of the Muslims now, you think they're looking at the month of Shaban? No, majority may not believe in Barat. They become Wahhabi. So they are very bad Barat. They have no Barat. Everyone is rushing for the month of Ramadan. You don't care for the Shaban. So be of the very few. Always be of the very few. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praising in the Quran. That the man who was Worshipping and crying, saying, Ya Rabbi, make me to be from the very few. Make me from, to be from the very few. Crying. And Hazrat Umar saying, What is this prayer that you're making? Why are you saying, make me from the very few? And this old man is saying, Ya Umar, Allah is saying, Only the very few, they are grateful to me. Only the very few, they are believing. Only the very few, they are obedient. And I want Allah to make me from the very few. Hazrat Umar, when he heard that, he started crying. Uh, who are we now? Of course, these days Muslims, they think they are better than Hazrat Umar. They're better than the Sahabis. And you have preachers, Muslim preachers, with so many titles, giving this kind of disrespect, no adab, no sharaf kind of religion to the young people and they love it. Of course, they have to drop in good things there. With uh, nine good things, they're going to drop one big poison. So you're going to say this big poison is taking over everything. They say, other people say, no, okay, you don't like it, put it away. There are nine good things in there, we like it. Majority, they're not putting nine good things. They're putting nine bad things and one good thing that is there. So they're not giving respect to this month. And this month, it is holding a lot of secrets, especially for the nation. Especially for the... It's hanging in the balance. Right in the center of the three, right in the middle of the three months, right in the middle of the Prophet's month. It is a balance now. Huh? What is the balance? Mizan. Right? So now, who are we going to put there to tip the scale for us? Who are we going to put there? If you're going to put your ibadat, good luck to you. Because shaitan worship more than you and me and everyone else. And his ibadat did not help him. If you're going to put your lineage, saying I'm a son of so-and-so, I'm a grandson of so-and-so, the Prophet's own uncles, they are right now in Jahannam. Their lineage is not saving them. If you're looking at the race, saying I belong to this race, it's going to save me, it is better than others. It is the foreigners who are welcoming the Prophet ﷺ the most. That he is praising the Ajam, especially the people of the Ahir Zaman. Inshallah, we wake up to show more respect to this month. Don't put our all those things there to tip the scale. It is add up at the end of the day. You show respect there. Add up to who?
to the Holy Prophet add up to his inheritors, add up to uh, things that are uh, in love with him that he also loves, add up to those ones. These days people bending over backwards to show very good add up to the things that Allah hates, mashallah. Uh, whatever Allah hates, they say, we love you. Becoming very more Christian than the Christians. But the things that Allah loves, they're saying, ah, it's a choice. Saying, don't be too uh, harsh on that. Leave everyone to do as they like. Mm, so the confusion, it is covering this whole world. Take out. Take yourself out from that confusion. Find the jamaat that is not in confusion. Sit with them. How are you going to get out from that confusion? Take yourselves out from the people of fitna, people of fitan and hasad, and sit with the people who are simple. At that time, your faith is going to save you. Otherwise, your faith cannot save you. This is for me. This is for you and anyone who's listening. Wa min Allahu tafiq al fatiha. This much is enough, inshallah. Keep it dry. But find small things. They're not asking you to do anything so big. Find small things. What you can do. Whatever it is that you're doing every day, every week, that. Keep that. Don't drop it. Thank you.